Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. In today's Dryland Halloween special, I am uh, gonna explain my five favorite range of motion mobility exercises to you guys. Um, those are five exercises that I've been using a lot lately and I feel like they really improved me to be more efficient in the skating position. Uh, I feel like I have better hip mobility after already two weeks of, of going through these as part of my warm-up routine. If you want to accelerate the process, you can also do it as a full workout where I would suggest something like um, five to ten repetitions of each exercise and maybe go through them two or three times. That way you're not going to be too sore, especially if you have an important skating workout later on during the same day or even right after, but you're still going to get uh, a lot out of it. Let me know what you think in the comments below after and have a lot of fun doing these exercises. See you around guys. Here we go. The first exercise is side lifts. It's a pretty simple exercise, but it's hard to master. As you can see, I try to maintain the exact same body position and only just lift the feet from the ground. Make sure the feet are pointing forward, your shoulders are parallel to the ground at all times, and let the foot come all the way down to the ground so you can like relax in it for a second, and then activate the glutes and then lift it up without tilting the rest of the body. So this one, instead of having the foot right next to the side, you point the whole leg 45 degrees backwards. And still, being the same skating position, you might go, you can even go a little lower in this one. And lift it up. As you can see, my foot is not pointing forward, which is okay this time. This is more of a warm-up activation exercise than an actual technical exercise. Uh, so is this one. This one is all about range of motion and mobility and stability in that exaggerated skating position. So try and see if you can almost straighten your leg as you move it through. And make a big beautiful circle with it. Again, maintain the same position and if you can even coordinate the arm swing the way I'm doing, that would be perfect. So as you can see, stay low, keep the shoulders upright, don't dip forward when you take the leg backwards. And the same way, don't get too much weight on the back side of your feet when you go backwards. This one is a combination of a stretch and a strength exercise. So you dip into a stretch and then you lift it up. Um, make sure you keep the weight forward because uh, most people have a tendency to fall backwards on the heels in this one, which we also don't want to on our skates. And then go straight to the side. Make it a smooth movement. So don't rush it and try and keep it stable. Get down in the stretch and up. And as you can see I do in this video, I kind of try and imitate the skating arm swing just to get a little more of a feel for it. This one is half core, half shoulder exercise and also some hip stability. Uh, it might be a little difficult to see in this video because the elastic bands are red just as the background, my mistake. But um, I have some elastic band attached to my feet and then I drive my arms forward and backwards just like on skates. Uh, the extra resistance is going to make it harder to maintain this stable body position. And it's a really good core exercise and also good activation because a lot of people tend to move their shoulders and get them out of place when they skate. And this one is a good way to try and hold that position. And this one is, in my opinion, the hardest exercise where you try and go as low as you can, as deep as you can, in all of these different directions. Um, it demands a lot of um, flexibility and balance. And it's a really good warm-up exercise, but also it's, it's a good thing to implement in your dryline routine, especially if you struggle to get lower or struggle with flexibility. As you can see all the way around, make sure the upper body is not dipping. So the whole, uh, right now it should be the, the right leg, but the whole leg you're having your body weight on should be in the same position. Don't let the knee fold in or out. Same with the shoulders and just let that other leg do the work. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you all want to subscribe to the channel or look at some of my other videos.